Schedule notes for this week. Don't forget where you want to go up here and uh, go over this here real quick. What we'd like to do. And maybe I should just put that up there as we start going through this. But uh, don't forget, uh, when we talk about scheduling notes, this is where if you have uh, placed an order in the order bank, uh, which the order bank is where you place your stock and retail orders, um, then uh, your order, once you place that order, needs to be scheduled for a production date. And so there's some of the terminology here. So order bank is where you, that order is placed. If you placed a an order with your dealer, it's probably called a retail order. Hopefully, your dealership put it in as a retail order. Um, and then dealers can also put orders in their order bank as stock orders. And when we talk about what's scheduling, it could be a retail or a stock order. Um, priority codes are based on that re that order type. Uh, retail orders are looked are zero three now through nineteen, and stock orders are twenty to eighty. So the lower the better. So for that reason, uh, retail orders are always going to be looked at before a stock order will because Ford wants to, they have an already sold vehicle. They always want to do that before they get a stock. And uh, which is really why this is very popular right now is because for a long time, Ford says, we're going to do this, the retails first. So we told people, Hey, you need to put a retail order in if you want to get one uh, scheduling. And that's what we're talking about here is that Ford schedules your order for production date in the future. So when we talk about when they're scheduling for, it's for those future dates. So they might schedule this week and certain models won't always schedule each week, um, but they'll schedule for future dates of production dates. Allocations, and you know, if a dealer doesn't have an allocation, then an order doesn't get scheduled. So they need an allocation to be able to schedule an order. Even if you have a retail order and you have a sold order in there, a, a dealer cannot get that scheduled without an allocation. Uh, in fact, if it's to the point where they need uh, that scheduled, they will give the dealer an allocation. Like we just, out of the blue, we got an allocation this week for a Bronco. Really weird um, because probably there's an 01 in there that they want to get scheduled. And so that's why they gave us an allocation. So, um, but that doesn't always happen. That's usually probably a specialty like a Bronco Raptor is probably what they're giving it for mm -hmm. us. Um, now, dealer does earn allocations based on their sales of each model within their region. Um, like we have, we're the number one Maverick dealer in the state, number three in the country. Because of that, we earn more allocations. We sell more Mavericks in, than most other dealers. So we're going to get a lot more allocations. Um, constraints. So there are some options that are in short supply or might take longer to build. They call those a constraint. Um, capacity is if there's a production rate, there's a production rate on every motor trim option that's available. And the plant basically says, this is our capacity for this trim level or for this option or for this motor. Um, and so when we look, we always look at that when, when deciding to help you with your order, you, we look at that information because that can help, you know, say, Hey, you know what, this motor is going to take longer, or this trim is going to take longer because of the capacity that the plant has for that particular option. And then job one and two, right now we're working off job ones on all the 2024s. Uh, halfway through the year, they'll switch to job two. If they need to make any changes to packages or something like that, that's where they make those changes. And so that way they can make, make those changes into the order guide and makes it a little bit easier for ordering and for production, I should say. And then balance out. That is when the particular option is getting the end of production. So um, right now, like actually one of the, one of the things that we're going to talk about is um, one of the things that's at, that is currently Move this. Not it. Oh, can't do. It. Right I think now, in the right place. It was in the right place. Um, so I didn't move my camp monitor. There we go. All right. So right now, a model that's balanced out is the twenty three model year F one fifty Lightning. It is balanced out, um, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. All right. So let's get into the different models. Uh, for this week, and I actually have some information that is going to be useful for next month. Um, and when I say next month, that's I know we're currently in October, but <laughs> um, Ford is uh, the it looks like next week is when we're going to start seeing October's allocations that dealers have earned be put into place and scheduled. This is going to happen next next week. Uh, this week is still continuing with September's allocation. So. If a dealer doesn't have any allocations left, then they won't get scheduled again. Your, your dealer has to have an allocation for this to happen. So 24 Mustang is not scheduling this week, and I don't have information on how many orders and everything. They did not do the commodity report, I think, 
think I'm getting us in trouble because I think they're not giving us that because I, I talk about it in there. Um, and also, so Mustang is not scheduled this week. Uh, so because of that, they're not listing any constraints or anything. 24 model year escape is not scheduling either this week. Uh, so again, they didn't list any constraints or any, any problems there. 24 model year Bronco sport. They are scheduling. If a dealership has an allocation, they're scheduling for build weeks, November week of November 6th through the week of November 27th. Um, limited availability for the outer bank series. So um, they'll schedule some, but not a lot. Um, limited availability as well for the tech package, which is the option on the outer banks as well as the convenience package, which is option on the big Ben and the premium package, which is optional on your Badlands. Uh, so front and rear splash guards, which I would take those off your orders anyway. Uh, late availability items, black appearance package and free willing is still uh, late availability, not available to get scheduled. Um, and I don't even know if you can order the free willing at this point yet. Yeah, I think you can. You can order it, but you just it's not scheduling. Um, 24 model year edge. They are scheduling this week. Again, a dealer needs an allocation. I think we have one allocation. Um, for production weeks, the week of October 30th through the week of November 27th. And um, then also 24 model year Edge ST uh, stock order bank is closed. So ST is balanced out. So Edge ST is done. Uh, otherwise, you can order anything else. And I forgot to mention that. 24 model year Mustang order bank is open up as well as the Escape and Bronco Sport. Um, they did close on the Escape the base trim. Um, so there you go. Um, is that right? I think so. Anyway. All right. Um, 24 model year Ranger, no scheduling. Um, we know what's going on there. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about plant closures in just a second, but the plant is closed down right now. Um, this has been on there for a while. Don't forget your running boards on your FX4 packages. So when they are up and running, that can get scheduled. Um, so yeah, make sure you have that on there. All right, 23 model year Bronco um, It's not scheduling. Again, that plant is down. Uh, Ranger and Bronco built at the same place. Uh, they are on strike right now. Um, so really not much is going on there. We do we still cannot order the two-door Heritage and Heritage Limited yet. Uh, still not available to do, to do that. And don't forget, Shadow Black Paint is only available on Raptors right now for 23 model year. Um, there you go. There's a note in here. It says all Broncos except Raptor and 24 model year do not come standard with a two inch hitch receiver or the electrical connector. Duh, we knew that. Um, so that's in the order banks. We know that that is a dealer installed option now for the tow package, uh, which gets you the hitch and the wiring connector, which we've talked about before. Moving on 24 model year Maverick. It is scheduling. If you have, if your dealer has an allocation, which we do not for this week, um, they are uh, scheduling for the weeks of November 6th through the weeks of November 27th. Limited availability on XL. And that doesn't say exhausted. It says limited. So I talked about this last week on that XL. They are scheduling XLs for build dates in November. Um, limited availability for the hybrid. Um, and this, this has to do with this week. So this will probably change for next week. We'll talk about that in a second. Also, limited availability for... The, uh, the tire that is available on the XL and XLT only, um, it's the T7R option code. Exhaust availability for your tonneau covered uh, hard trifold and your splash guards. And again, if you've listened to me, take those off your orders. Uh, Ford does not like to hear me say that, but Ford, if you could make them faster and put them on faster than 3,200 dealers, that would be different. But the dealers can do them faster. So take those off. It will help your orders get scheduled. So. And I'm here. I'm not here to just say, hey, yes, if you have a tonneau cover on your vehicle, if you have splash guards, yes, they will get built. They will get scheduled sometime this year. If you want yours scheduled faster, then you take it off. Mm -hmm. If you don't care how long it takes, leave it on. It will get scheduled eventually. Right? Again. I don't know. Put it on yourself. All right. Anyway, 24 model year Explorer, not scheduling. That plant is on strike right now. Chicago assembly plant is on strike. Um, and I don't know if the plug-in plant's on strike. I mean, they didn't really say. They just said Chicago. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, order banks are open, are going to be opening soon on the 24 model year Explorer. So 
Uh, they're saying 10, 16, but I did see maybe an update to the 17th, 16, 17, somewhere in there. Order banks are supposed to open up. In fact, next week, next Tuesday, we'll have more information for you guys on that as well as the Mach E. Uh, there is a dealer broadcast. Well, maybe we won't. <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk about that. I'll, I'll, I'll do. We I'll get. I'll let you know what I can. Things. Right. Anyway, whatever. Let's make it a surprise. Mm -hmm. Let's not tell them that they order. Mm -hmm. They can order in six days. Um, Twenty-four model year expedition. No scheduling this week. Um, don't forget on those platinum orders. Make sure you have the optional twenty-two inch wheel, and um, you must include the multi-contoured seat removal. So it's already happening to that one. So order banks are open up for the twenty-four model year expedition. All right. I think they put these on here, not in order by where it normally is, but how it fits on their sheets. 24 model year Super Duty, <laughs> we're talking about next. Um, so they are scheduling um, for this week. And order banks are open up, by the way, so I don't forget about that. Um, it does say the they're scheduling for production weeks at Kentucky will be the weeks uh, of October 23rd through the weeks of November 20th and for Ohio truck plant, which normally does cabin chassis and such is the weeks of November 13th through November 27th. And does say uh, King ranch and platinum will be 100% multi-contoured seat, which means that they will have those. There's no removal on those, <clears throat> which is good. The hard thing is getting this scheduled. Uh, all cabin chassis cab orders require the up better integrated modular. That's option 18 a, for 24 model year. So it does require that. So um, limited availability on King Ranch, Platinum, and Limited. Exhausted availability for F600. So again, we've seen vehicles that have, say, exhausted still get scheduled. So it doesn't mean you don't have a chance. It just means it's a smaller chance. Um, and limited availability for these following options. 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine. That's 99T. The 7.3 liter gas engine. 99N, and then the the wheel 64M option is the 19 and a half inch forged polished aluminum wheel um, with the um, that's optional on the cabin chassis XLT F600. Uh, that is unlimited. Um, the also the the uh, tire two the two uh, okay it's option TGT if you have it on your order that's 24570R 19 and a half. Uh, black sidewall traction tire that's uh, that is optional on the cabin chassis cab six F six hundreds XL and XLTs. Um, also the the two frames that have been uh, an issue for a while the one that's optional on the F three fifty two wheel drive with the diesel engines and the six hundred sixty eight inch dually wheelbase as well as the frame that's optional on the F five fifty F six hundred with the 6.7 liter and 7.3 engines. Hey, they fixed that this week. Oh no, it's the one below. Uh, and 145 inch dually, uh, it does say with out the payload package, I believe. And then the frame that's optional on the F350 two wheel drives, it does say with the 7.3 diesel engine. So I assume that means a 7.3 gas. Um, and the 145 inch dually and whether it be the dually or the single rear wheel. And then also the 193 inch wheelbase uh, that's optional on the XL, XLT, F450s, 550s, 600 chassis cabs. That's also limit availability. Now, exhausted, these are ones that are very, it's going to be very rare that you get scheduled for. This, that is the 19 and a half inch uh, track, the wheel or the tire, I should say, that's uh, optional on the uh, chassis cabs and the F600s and the XL and XLTs, as well as the one that's, um, the standard wheel on the chassis cab, F600, XL, and XLTs. So, yeah, good luck there. Uh, they're having issues with tire, those tires. Uh, also, the frame that is optional on the F350 two-wheel drive with the 7.3, does they mention diesel again, and the 169-inch wheelbase. Uh, yes, it's not a diesel. Bring back the 7.3 diesel, right? No, I, I think it's supposed to be the gas. I'll have to get some clarification on that. The 205-inch uh, wheelbase, uh, which is optional on the XL, XLT, F450, 550, 600 chassis cabs is also exhausted. And then the 360-degree dual beacon LED strobe lights, whether it be the amber or the amber white, are also limited. So having issues with supplies still on Super Duty. So 
That's Super Duty. All right. And the order banks are open up for that. I did mention that, didn't I? Okay. All right. F the 23 model year F-150. They are scheduling this week for the week build weeks of uh, December 11th and des- the weeks of December 18th, which is the balance. That's when they're going to be finishing that out. Um, and so there are dealers that are getting extra allocations for these. Uh, so this month coming up, they're going to be a mixture and then hardly ever have that happen, but they're going to be scheduled for 23s and 24s uh, next month, which we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, there you go. Um, order banks are closed for 23 model year, but open for 24 model year. Don't forget that. You can you can get those. Um, all right. So 23 model year F-150 Lightning um, is not scheduling this week. They are balanced out. I mean, they are done. They figured out what vehicle, what VINs they're going to build, and there you go. And we'll get into that. And during the Is It True, we'll talk more about that. Order banks open up for 24 model year tomorrow. So 23 model year Mustang Mach-E is not scheduling this week. Uh, order banks are open up for those right now. Um, should be closing though, because 24 model year order banks open up the 16th. Not much else to say about that. Uh, 23 model year transit connect van and wagon order banks are closed and they are balancing out. They are scheduling this week uh, for balance out of not only for this model year, but for the trans connect in the U.S. altogether. Um, 23 model year transit. Um, we'll finish this out. Uh, the 24 model year order banks are open up for transit and e-transit. Um, so when we talk about this, we're talking about both here. Um, so they are scheduling 23s for the weeks of November 13th through the weeks of December 4th. Um, so they are doing some scheduling of some orders. Um, they say uh, for better uh, availability on the 2.5 V6 Cyclone 998. Uh, then the 3.5 V6 EcoBoost. So better availability for the Cyclone engine. So uh, choose that if you have uh, some stock orders you need scheduled. High-resolution camera is temporarily available for stock orders. Um, that's been an issue in the past. And it says, please consider that the power sliding rear window is not available for 24 model year. So power sliding rear, those, those doors were available in 23, not in 24. So that's something to remember. Um, limit availability for these options, the 3.5 EcoBoost, um, the Sync 4 with the Sirius XM with the 360L, the Transit Trail Package, and the Digital Rear uh, digital rear View Mirror. Uh, exhausted availability for these following options. Uh, the High Roof Jumbo Bus, as well as the High Roof Long Bus, the 360-degree camera, and the 10-way power driver and passenger seat, whether it be ebony leather, ebony cloth, or the dark palazzo gray cloth. So if, if you have the dark palazzo gray leather, you might be okay. Choose that option. Balanced out options are these, which means they will not schedule. So we're not talking about a slim chance like a exhausted or a little chance like ex- a limited. We're talking about no chance on these. A depopulated key fob, the power running boards, the side 6040 barn doors, the all crew van body types, and the Transit 350 heavy duty dually cutaway chassis cab cargo vans. And then uh, not available for stock orders. If you you know have allocations, but you don't have any retail orders and you can put a stock in for a transit, we'd love to have your allocation first off. But otherwise, you cannot uh, get the 360 camera on the ICE orders or the 3.5 EcoBoost engine. There you go. So that's scheduling information uh, for um, for this week. So again, for the week. For the week. Now let's talk about starting next week. We're going to be uh, what they call cons- what they call scheduling uh, for production dates, and we're talking for mostly December for F one fifties and Super Duties, but then also. Um, yeah, and then also for, well, December for most models. So let's talk about what's scheduling, what's not scheduling for the month, uh, for that which starts next week. So um, they always carry over from one week to the next. So this week they're still scheduling for your September allocations that you've earned as a dealer. This month or next week they're going to start scheduling for October's allocations that you've earned. Uh, some of you are going to probably ask me already, so how many allocations did you earn, Tim? Um, for Maverick, we did earn 123 allocations, so that would actually take care of about almost half of our orders. 
<laughs> which is crazy. So at least 40% of them. So um, you got a really good shot next week. We'll probably get like 123 Maverick schedule. It's going to be nuts. Um, anyway, some of the other models, uh, I think we have like 14 F-150s because it's a small run. I think Super Duty is a small run as well. Um, but again, we got to remember December, they are only going to produce for about two weeks. So this is where those factory workers, where they get four weeks off, that includes two weeks around December. So usually uh, the last two weeks of December is when the plants close down. So December to the beginning of January. So like there's a two week window there where they're going to be closed and not producing vehicles at any of the plants. And this is part of their two weeks that they get out of their five. Right. So mm -hmm. I don't get two weeks around Christmas time. Just saying. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, so talk about first off 24 model year Mustang. Uh, they will be scheduling uh, this next month for production weeks, the weeks of um, December 4th through January 15th. So that's a six week window that they're going to be scheduling for. Um, really, it says six weeks, but we know that the plant's going to be down for a couple weeks there. Um, does say retail only options for this next month will still be night pony package and the GT performance package will not be. Those packages will not be available for stock orders. Um, 20 inch premium paint aluminum wheel, zero percent. So they don't plan to schedule any with the optional wheel. So still having issues with that wheel. Um, 24 model year escape gas hybrid. And plug-in is scheduling for a three-week cycle, so the weeks of December 4th through the weeks of December 18th. So you can kind of see where that plant shutdown is going to be. Um, it says re uh, regional uh, control on active to 42%. That's going to be the production run, their capacity for next for those time periods. Uh, hybrid will be 11% which I think that's maybe up from what it normally is. Um, ST line, 31%, and premium tech package, 15%. So that's that's your capacity of what they the plants can run at for that time period, or what they're scheduling for. So um, 23 model year Bronco is going to be balancing out uh, for this next month for production weeks, a three-week run, the weeks of December 4th through December 18th. Hopefully the plant's up and running. Uh, does a final 23 model year balance out wholesale? I think we have zero allocations for Bronco. Um, uh, does a production volatility due to st work stoppage? Uh, stop build continues on two door Heritage and Heritage Limited series. And non Raptor Shadow Black paint is on stop build. So if you don't have a Raptor, you can't get the black uh, for the rest of 23 model years. So. I think a lot of people have, they're ready to move to 24 anyway, um, but they wanted to kind of help them <laughs> the launch of 24 uh, Ranger, which uh, doesn't really matter at this point. 24 model year Bronco Sport is scheduling for a three week run, the weeks of December 4th through December 18th. Um, Outer Bank Tech Package, 0% for that time period. Badlands Premium Package, 0%. Um, Moonroof is a retail only. And Big Ben black appearance package is retail only. So it looks like they are going to try to schedule for that black appearance package this month. So coming up. So that's great. If you have that black appearance package, you got a shot at that. I would try to take off, you know, some of the on, if you have a bad lance at outer banks, if you want to get it scheduled, then take those packages off. Otherwise just hold off. Uh, hopefully you, get, you should be able to, they're probably doing 0% so they can catch up on supply for January. So I would, you know, just hold on for that. 24 edge uh they're scheduling for a seven week run this is balance out for edge it says uh, oh no st balance out sorry Ooh, i was like what i was surprised by that i had to read the, i had to read the rest of it okay so for uh, uh this is balance out for st I should say uh they are scheduling for a seven week run so we're talking the weeks of october or december 4th through january 29th so they're scheduling into january uh, 24 model year Explorer is balanced out for Explorer here. So the uh, three week run there, weeks of December 4th through December 18th. Um, so we're talking ST is going to be uh, 15%, ST line 0%, Platinum two wheel drive and four wheel drive, ST line King Ranch must have the trailer tow package, option 52T. And limited 300A must delete the tow package 52T. So keep that in mind on those to get those scheduled. 24 model year Super Duty is scheduling for a three-week run. Again, December 4th through December 18th. 
see a theme here, folks. <laughs> um, it does say 10R140 transmission tied to the 7.3 liter and both 6.7 gas engine or 6.7 diesel engines. Uh, regionally allocated to 81.5% due to supply issues. XL 6.8 liter orders required to keep the plant buildable. So if they can't get 6.8 liter orders XLs, then they may have to do some things to that shat, the, the plant. So hopefully they don't have to lay, you know, have to stop the production there and lay people off for just a uh, time period. They pay them if they do. Uh, anytime there's a plant down, I've been learning that, that that's, uh, that is paid time off for them, but yeah, so they need to keep that plant running. 24 expedition is scheduling for three week run. Yes, you guessed it. The weeks of uh, December 4th through December 18th, platinum continues to require the optional 22 inch wheel for that, for that, uh, cycle limited 302A continues to require the sandstone trim. So. 24 model year Maverick is scheduling three week. This is what gets me three weeks run the weeks of October, or December 4th through December 18th retail scheduling only 2.5 liter engine is a 50% commodity mix. So it's a 50, 50 hybrid versus EcoBoost. Uh, so there you go. Um, 24 model year F-150 startup. So they are scheduling for six weeks. So the week of December 25th, through the weeks of January 29th for 24 model year gas and lightning startup. So that's going to be startup for lightning as well. And then 24 model year transit startup production. That means this is the first time they're scheduling for these when I say startup. So the week, uh, two week run here, the week of December uh, 11th and the week of December 18th. Power sliding doors are not available in 24 model year and six and three point lead. 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine has low availability. Consider changing engine option to improve scheduling chances. And if I haven't mentioned it, it's not scheduling for the entire month. So we're talking Mustang Mach E is not scheduling. E Transit is not scheduling. Transit Connect Van and Wagon, actually, they're done um, for scheduling anyway. Ranger is not scheduling. Ranger Raptor is not scheduling. Bronco Heritage Limited Edition is not scheduling. And Bronco Raptor is not scheduling. So something to keep in mind. There you go. That is that. All right. And we do have a lot of information tonight. So we're going to be talking about a lot of, there's a lot of dealer news updates. There's some changes, some order guides. We have some recalls. There's a lot of information tonight. Didn't say that at the beginning. So uh, hold on tight for a long episode, um, but we want to cover it all tonight. So any questions in regards to scheduling, whether it be for this week or for next month? Let's see. Or the current month, technically, but not start until next week. <laughs> mm, not scheduling specifically. I did a good job covering it then. Yes. All oh, right. Yeah. And like a lot of dealers probably won't. I mean, we will see F-150s and Super Duty schedule. Uh, we usually see those run most of the month. So usually the way Ford will do it is the first week that you have allocations they'll get they'll try to schedule like the entire month based on that as long as you have an order that fits everything all that they're scheduling for right within that commodity mix um anytime that you get an allocation carry over it's because you didn't have any orders they were looking to schedule for and so it carries over and then you'll as a dealer you look and go okay well we that allocation carried over so we didn't have something so we need to find either put a stock order in or or something so that we have something that fits or tell a customer that says hey if you made this change you could use that allocation that got carried over to the next week um, but f-150 and super duty are two models that we usually schedule about every week within a production run they, they don't mm -hmm. because the plants are so big they build so many of those um it does take several they'll schedule for several weeks and not just the one week so yeah and if so, if you're like, we have 123 Maverick allocations, so we have enough orders that should fulfill everything they need. But let's say we don't and let's say we they get 100 of them scheduled. That means 23 couldn't. Then we have to look and make, uh, you know, tell our customers, hey, um, it looks like we didn't get your schedule because of these constraints. If you made this change, we can probably get your schedule next week. And that's the, usually the conversation you have or put a stock order in if you don't have a retail. But. We have plenty of retails. And this month, they're only doing retails for Maverick. So, anyway. All right. I got a question. All right. 
My super duty is scheduled for week of October 16th. When does Ford usually issue the window sticker? Uh, okay. This is a great, great thing because we actually found something out here. Uh, a lot of people didn't realize. So usually that happens when we see a scent to plant on our, our, our end. So that usually happens about 10 a week to 10 days ahead of that time mm -hmm. frame. So anytime now you should be able to see yours. Now, with that said, if you go in to click on that view window sticker and it's saying that you can't see it, try to refresh your cookies. Somebody said. Although that didn't work. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I thought they said that they did that and it worked. Mm -mm. Oh, he was trying it and he also went to incognito mode. Nothing worked. He can't see his. Never mind. So, so you may not be able to see it. I don't know. Um, I think we've had heard of some people having issues. It used to be like about a week to 10 days before it's supposed to be being built. It, it shows back up. So basically when they send that information from the window sticker to the plant so that they can be ready for producing that vehicle that week, that's usually when that window sticker is available at that same mm -hmm. time. But they may be waiting until it gets built for you to see it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Any information from you guys out there, let us know. We'd love to yeah. be able to see to, to know that. You you might check with your dealer. They might be able to see the window sticker though. Yeah. Because there, there is a I site can... you can go to and but you have to have like a Ford login to be able to get it yeah. to work. So because I can take a VIN and I can go look up the window sticker. Yeah, we can do that. So maybe our customer that was with us. Maybe I should try going and looking at his. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Anything else? No.